Hi everyone, today we will see about the rules and users for CDGC. Today's agenda would be predefined rules that we offer, custom rules, assets, permission and feature privileges which you can provide and then we will go for the demonstration. Let's talk about the predefined role. So in CDGC, when your organization sets up data governance and catalog, you can assign predefined roles to users and user group based on the business need. So predefined roles are the system defined roles that define access privileges for the services that your organization uses. You cannot edit, rename or delete these system defined roles. We offer two system defined roles which is governance administrator role and governance user role. Now then as a next part we have the custom role. So custom role apart from the predefined role you can also create the roles as per your use and that role will be called as the custom role. User can create their custom role based on the needs of the organization and assign it to the services. You can edit or delete the custom role as per your need. So you can have the custom role such as data owner role, data steward role or whatsoever role you want to specify to access the assets in the DGC. There are some minimum privileges for the custom role which you can refer from the documentation for each type of features you. Administrator can uh, configure permission for the assets as well as enable the features for each services. So uh, organization admin can configure the permission for the assets that user roles can access in metadata command center. All users can view these assets but only users in a specific user roles can modify these assets. From the administrator page, you can open uh, the uh, this uh, roles and then services and can enable or disable all these assets. It is only for the custom roles because for the predefined roles, uh, it's these options are grayed out. Similarly, we have admin can configure specific privileges for user role in data catalog governance and metadata command center. Here you can select the services as per your need and then you can enable or disable the features. We also have a super admin privileges. So the super admin privilege will have the ability to add or remove the stakeholders to assets even though he is not a stakeholder for those assets. Also super admin privilege can assign stakeholders for both technical as well as business assets. And these uh, super admin privilege is not enabled by default and you so you have as per your use you have to enable it to manage the rules uh, you need to log into the idmc and go to administrator to check the predefined roles you can go to the user roles and search for governance so we have governance user role 1 from here which is for data governance and catalog and major data command center you could see the fe these features are enabled by default you cannot make any changes to this in a similar way we can check for the major data command center where we have the assets as well as the features so if you click on any of this, it would be grayed out. So it is by default the predefined roles. Now if you want to create any role, you can go click on user roles. Click on add role. Specify the role name. Select the service. Like data governance and catalog. We don't have any assets permissions in DGC, but we have features. So you can enable the feature whatsoever you want. In the similar way, you can go for a metadata command center as well. You can click on the feature again and enable the features. Here you will see the assets permission as well. What uh, your user want to see, you can limit them. And for more information as what each asset type means and what it do, you can refer the documentation. We have very well written into that. Uh, let me show you one sample user that I created. So user role. I have created the Amir underscore test as a user role where for a DGC I have provided the features all these features to view the assets and access the DGC uh, so we don't have any permissions from, from the DGC so we need to go to the MCC and provide the view technical assets permission if you want 
like here I have project X MCC and after that click on save it will get saved and to assign this role, role to your users you can go to the users click on the user and then you will see all the roles created here you will see the predefined roles as well which is data governance user and governance administrator so if you want to assign these predefined roles you can enable so for this user I have assigned the custom role which I created which was Amber underscore test so after creating this click on save just select this and then save it so if I will select any other role just save it and these permissions will get saved to that specific user you can refer these articles for more information we would love to hear from you you can provide your feedback on the link displayed on the screen thank you